Aliha is a wonderfully animated 2D action game that takes you on a dark, mystical journey of love, death, and magic. You play as Faraday, a noble lord who embarked on a voyage to find a better life for his people, only to be shipwrecked in a strange land. Through exploration, blistering action, and clever puzzle solving, you free your crew and meet a mysterious woman who seems to be the key to unlocking the mysteries of this blighted world. Oliha offers a unique mix of story, intricate pixel art, and responsive combat all wrapped up in a nice tight package. The story opens with Faraday, a lord from an unnamed western land setting out to find a better life for his people. He heads east to parts unknown, hoping to find answers, but instead finds himself shipwrecked in the ruined land of Terraphage. It becomes clear very quickly that this land is dangerous, covered in some mysterious black ooze and crawling with bizarre monsters. While trying to save his crew, Faraday stumbles upon a legendary spear that bestows upon him the ability to teleport. This gives him the power he needs to defeat the ooze, find his crew, and also catch the eye of a young royal woman named Oliha who keeps crossing his path. To be honest, it's a very well-worn trope. A white man venturing east looking for a new start and adventure? Typically this would raise a few eyebrows. But as a Japanese studio, Skeleton Crew has made this trope their own. Faraday isn't some wisecracking, devil-may-care adventurer. He's a reluctant hero, who feels responsible for saving the lives of his missing crew. Aliha, on the other hand, is savvy and knowing, not just some exotic eye candy or temptress. The darkness and despair of Terraphage is real, blending ancient Japanese-inspired architecture with even more ancient ruins and caves. The world and story may be enough to keep you going, but the combat and puzzles are where the fun is at. The aforementioned spear and its teleportation ability is the star of the show. You'll use this in combat to zip around enemies and dodge attacks. It's both unwieldy and precise at the same time. You have little control of what the spear locks onto, but it often doesn't matter. Faraday will do a flurry of attacks and combos as he teleports through enemies. Most enemies rush you with melee attacks, so it's easy to get them all in one bunch, then zip, hack, whap, and poke away. The spear also features prominently into the puzzles. It allows Faraday to access high places and even use the black ooze to his advantage. Many hidden areas and paths are accessed by sticking the spear into ooze on the wall, then teleporting through it. It's a fairly subtle way to mark secrets. Some puzzles and platforming challenges really require quick use of the spear and outside of the box thinking. They also break up the pace nicely, often foreshadowing major boss fights and enemy encounters. Uliha is a great little package that packs a punch. The art and story help sell the kinetic combat and puzzle solving. It's well paced and goes out of its way to focus on its characters just as much as its action. It may be a little on the short side, but every minute is well thought out and executed. And for my money, that's better than a game wearing out its welcome. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to see more. Check out voxelvoice.com for all of our great content, and consider supporting us on Patreon to keep our content ad-free and independent.